Should we all be concerned about the grab hook in Halo Infinite? Will it play well? Will it be balanced in matchmaking? Will it be broken? Will it be fun using it in Halo Infinite overall? In this video, we are going to be discussing about the grab hook that T43 has introduced. So stay tuned to the video. Now there has been a lot of people who have been judging the grapple hook ever since the future was a uh, reveal last E3 and there was many complaints on how it's going to be very un uh, unbalanced in multiplayer because Spartans apparently would now be swinging around like Spider-Man in matchmaking which left a lot of players very concerned. When I first saw the grapple hook at E3 in 2020, I was skeptical, however it was a huge relief when T43 confirmed that equipment will be a pickable item on the map in matchmaking so that made me very happy and a lot of people as well. Uh, because it will absolutely be ridiculous if players were actually to spawn in with the uh, grapple hooker with no limits. Uh, that would, you know, that will break the game. You know, that will break uh, matchmaking. Uh, just imagine every player swinging around the map. Uh, that would absolutely, you know, sabotage uh, the maps. But in all honesty, I'm not even concerned about the grapple hook. At least not anymore. I feel like a lot of people, you know, right now are exaggerating about the grapple hook. Uh, it was stated many times, you know, you know that equipment will be a, a pickable item. And plus, the grapple hook may not be on every map in Halo Infinite. And let's say if it was that severe, then yeah, T4D will remove it. You know, it, it would be like a simple remove, you know, heading to Forge and just remove it. Uh, and possibly the grapple hook may have a weakness. You know, you could possibly shoot the rope off the player and he may not grapple all the way through. You know, and plus, it will have a limit. Uh, of usage uh, and you can easily shoot your opponent while he is grappling or just stick him with a grenade you know before he gets to you uh, so there are ways of you know there are ways of you know taking down players who are using the grapple according to t43 they, they said equipment will uh, work differently in matchmaking than the campaign in the campaign demo that was revealed the grapple hook is actually unlimited you so you can use it on how many times you want but in multiplayer uh, there is a limit of, of uh, usage and plus it will be one grapple hook or uh, small on the map. Uh, I can't imagine there will be one, you know, be more than one grapple hook on the map. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't like that decision. You know what I noticed? The reason why people are still very concerned about the grapple hook is because almost every Halo Infinite footage we've seen so far, the grapple hook gets a lot of screen time in the trailers. And of course, most people will be sitting there thinking, oh, players will now use grapple hooks all the time. There's going to be swinging Spartans everywhere in matchmaking. Oh my god. I don't think that, you know, the footage we saw was more of a advertisement of the grapple hook, you know, a basic highlight footage, you know. I feel like FIFA 3 really wanted to show off this future, you know, this future to, to the players. And hence why you see it in all the hidden footages almost. And even the cover art, you, you even see Master Chief, you know, you know, has a grapple hook with him, uh, you see it there. Uh, it's just them promoting this future, you know, it doesn't mean, it doesn't really mean like you would always have the grapple hook. However, it would help if T43 were to show off a basic gameplay match of 4v4, you know, you know doing B2B for like 10 or 9 minutes. Maybe we could then properly uh, judge it. When we finally get the game in our own hands, uh, we can then really judge it on how it plays out. But as I said before, I'm not too concerned about the grapple hook. However, there will be a time where I will get very frustrated where I'm so close to picking up rockets on the map but then the enemy player who is across the map will be able to grab hook that from long range and then steal my rockets and then kills me. I mean that's the only time I will dislike the grab hook. I mean, I, but I don't see that happening often I, you know, I don't see it as a common thing. Uh, and we don't really know how far the grapple, you know, could travel. Uh, we don't know how the range is like for that. Again, we just gotta wait patiently for the game to come out you know, for it to release. Uh, the beta should uh, be released soon, uh, you know, maybe next month, who knows. Uh, so make sure you guys are signed up for the Halo Insider. Very important. Anyways, uh, the only way of knowing the grapple hook is very unbalanced if they allowed everyone spawn with the grapple and plus with unlimited usage in matchmaking. Then yeah, that will be that would be a very worrying, you know, probably you know worse than armor lock. I don't know if anything could be worse than armor lock, but I mean, but yeah, that's when I'll be very worried if they went for that decision. Uh, but the current you know state for the grapple hook right now is great. You know, I do think it's balanced, uh, so I'm happy the way the grapple hook plays in Halo Infinite. I do see there's a lot of potential for the grapple hook. I'm really excited to see what ideas you know people people can come up with in custom games. You know, playing around with the grapple. I'm excited to see people like Mint Blitz pulling off some really clever tricks. Uh, and the campaign for Halo Infinite, we could maybe have a grapple hook run. You know, so like previously we had a Warthog run in Halo C and Halo Three, but we may end up getting a grapple hook run. You know, I would love to have the grapple hook run and of course the Warthog run. I would love to have you know both options there for us, you know, to pick which one you want to 
you know, go for. A while ago, I played a, a Hilly C mod where, you know, you can actually use a grapple hook. And I actually challenged myself to beat the last mission in Halo CE just by me using the grapple hook. And it worked and it was actually fun using it. I actually had really fun playing that mod. Okay guys, that's all I have to say in today's video. If you guys really uh, like to share your thoughts on the grapple hook, please do leave a comment down below. I'd be interested to read your comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to subscribe for more Halo content and follow us on Twitch. I literally stream Halo every day on Twitch. So go ahead and drop a follow in there. And I'll see you Spartans in the next video. Bye.